Yeah, Glenn and Lou, we're here at a refinery, and you know, I just spoke to an oil analyst, and he said he doesn't expect the OPEC cuts to affect us much here in California. But here's what is. He says refinery issues. There's been maintenance causing stoppages, slowdowns, and shutdowns in production that have been driving up prices. Here is a look at where things stand today. And you can see that the prices that we're paying for a gallon of gas on average in the LA area, Orange County, and the surrounding counties is well over $2 more a gallon. Than the national average. Okay, so big picture, there's the OPEC news that you're talking about today, Glenn and Lou. The group of big oil producers and exporters, including Saudi Arabia and Russia, said today it will slash production by 2 million barrels of oil a day, the biggest cut since the start of the pandemic, beginning in November, reducing supply in a move that threatens to push gas prices higher, a move the Biden administration today is criticizing as short sighted. But here in California, where our gas prices are already so much higher than the national average. According to reports, at least five oil refinery plants in the state have recently faced maintenance, stopping or slowing down supplies of California's gas, which is a special blend mandated in our state to reduce pollution, and that's all driving prices at the pump up. Well, Governor Gavin Newsom, we've been talking about this on our air, he responded last week to the drastic increases by jump starting the state shift to cheaper winter blend gasoline. An analyst I spoke to just a short time ago saying that should bring some relief, but not yet. Here's the issue now. You've had a confluence of refinery work happening in late September and into October. I have good news though. Uh, good news is that the prices are going to fall back a little bit because now you're using winter gasoline, which is easier to make. And a lot of those refineries that were down for maintenance are coming back up around the middle of this month. So we have that to look forward to. But bigger picture, he says, don't expect some major break long term going forward because of some bigger issues at play in California's energy markets. And we'll get into that in just a little bit, a little later next hour. For now, if these gas prices have you down, if you're struggling in one bit of maybe perhaps uh, something you could take advantage of. It is California Clean Air Day. And in honor of that, Metro is offering free bus and train rides. So maybe you could take the train instead of filling up your tank for free, at least today. For now, that's the latest live here in Torrance. I'll send it back to you in the studio.